People in one Englewood neighborhood, well, they're not happy about the repair job on some power poles and lines that snapped last November. Five months later now, phone and cable lines are still dangling just four feet above the ground in one homeowner's yard. Other lines are attached to a section of the pole, which is suspended midair. And neighbors contacted Denver 7 for help, and tonight, Lance Hernandez is digging deeper to find a solution. Neighbors tell me that a junk collector driving a truck with a crane snagged these lower level lines and pulled with such force that it snapped two or three poles. It right. sounded like, like a big pop. Cindy Rayfield was looking out her window when it happened. He got out of his truck and he started grabbing the lines with his bare hands to pull it off the top of his truck. He snapped it. This home video shows the snapped poles and the truck that snagged them. To me, it's pretty dangerous. Rob uh, Caton says the repair job leaves something to be desired. A section of the old pole is dangling over the corner of his yard. The attached utility lines suspended just four feet above the ground in the middle of his backyard. I've had Excel come out, I've had Xfinity, I've had CenturyLink, and they're all kind of pointing the finger at at each other. Excel told me they replaced the poles, but don't have authority to reattach lines belonging to other utilities. You can clearly see some of those lines have been stretched. Crews loop some of them across the stump of this tree branch. I mean, over the winter, it wasn't the worst thing in the world, but now that it's spring and summer, you know, I'd like to come out here and you know, start using my backyard and with my dog back and everything, it's just been pretty dangerous. Excel says it will send a crew out early next week to recheck everything and will then again reach out to CenturyLink and Comcast about reattaching their lines to the new pole. Comcast tells us their engineering team is now looking into the problem. CenturyLink tells us they're also working with their field teams. We'll make sure they do. Lance Hernandez, Denver 7. What a mess. And if you have a tip, if you have a problem you want us to look into, please call us or text us. There's a number on your screen. You can also email us, contact7 at thedenverchannel.com.